What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to take a look at the new user interface. So the revamped user interface that uses Microsoft Fluent UI controls that is now part of release wave one of 2023. So it's a very exciting update. Uh, basically, users are going to get just this new refreshed look and feel for their power apps, their model driven power apps. So what we'll do in this video, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I actually have this setup where I have uh, side by side. I have uh, here on the left, the old system. So the old way of how this looks. And then on the right, I have the new way. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up to enable this for your apps. Let's go ahead and do it. So on the right here, uh, as I said, if I, I'm gonna go over here and you know what, let me hit the back button and we'll start back here. So you wanna start in the Power Apps Maker portal, okay? And this is a setting that is a per app setting. So if you turn it on, it's gonna be for individual apps. It's not gonna be across all your applications, all your Power Apps, okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for the Sales Hub app here. So basically I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this app. And I actually did turn this on earlier, so I'm just gonna show you what I did to enable it. Um, but uh, basically, yeah, you go into settings here and you'll go into upcoming. And the thing to stress here is this is a preview feature, right? It says, try the new look and feel. And it says, when on this app, we'll use latest Microsoft Fluent design-based elements as they are released, right? So that's, that's very important. Uh, this includes controls, layouts, fonts, and colors, and it can be turned off at any time. And you can see I have this set to yes here, right? So when you come in here for the first time, it'll be no flip that to yes, come down here and hit save. And that's all you'll need to do to turn it on for this particular app. Um, then you can go and hit play here. And if I hit play, it's actually gonna tell me that I have unpublished uh, changes. That's because I went into the settings there. So that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and click publish here. And that will just publish that. And then I can click play and we'll go into the app. Okay. So here on the left, this is the existing app. Uh, I have not upgraded it. This is a different uh, environment and this is the sales hub app in a new environment, okay? And so over here on the right, uh, this is the the one that's uh, recently published and this is the, the the new look and feel. So you can see here immediately uh, with, the, with the menu here on the left, there's a little bit of an elevation, what we're calling it, right? And a little bit of a shadow, okay? So that provides a little bit of a, a separation here and a bit of a, a bit of height to this, right? So, on the on the so on the that's on the right here on the left there uh, in the existing design you don't have that it's flat all right so that's one of the subtle changes that they made uh, let's go ahead and click into accounts here and we'll go ahead and take a look at how each of these lists look and you can see immediately on the right there is these uh, check boxes that are appearing here they're, they're not selected uh, but they are squares here and when you hover over them it'll show the checkbox. Uh, here on the left, they are circles and they are not showing unless you hover over them. Potentially a little bit of a uh, accessibility helper there, right? Potentially like a 508 type helper. Uh, it makes it more easy to know there is a checkbox and this is what I need to do to select it, right? We don't, we don't get that clue unless we go over it here on the left. So that's quite nice. And then a big one here is the separation between the list and the actual ribbon or toolbar, right? So... Uh, here on the left with the existing one, it's flat. There's no there's no obvious separation. Uh, but here it's two different, basically two different elements, right? So you can tell immediately definite separation and uh, you know that uh, it, where you are basically, right? So so that that's a that's a, a, a very obvious change. Um, the buttons themselves, you'll see with the new design if you hover over them, It'll give you just a subtle background change and it'll the, the box behind it, so the actual button itself is a, uh, it doesn't take up the whole real estate here. If you go back to the old ones, you can see that the highlight takes up the whole real estate, right? So just another little subtle change there. Um, these, these options here look pretty similar. If you click on them, uh, maybe just a little bit smaller here on the right. And if you go here to the ellipse here, that looks pretty much the same, I would say, maybe subtle difference there uh, in terms of how that looks, okay? So 
Now let's go ahead and click into one of these. So if I click a, click a record here, I'm going to select this. Uh, you know what? Let me hit back. Uh, no, that's good. So I'm going to select, select this record and we'll do the same here. So we're jumping into an account and let's see what how this looks a little different. So again, you have the you have the separation right between the ribbon slash toolbar and then the record itself. So so that's kind of obvious. I would say there's maybe a little difference here in the header of the record. Maybe there's uh, it's hard to tell really. Maybe it's just a little a little bit of spacing that looks a little different here. Hard to tell if there's size changes there. One thing that is a little different here the underline. So in the new design, it's a slightly thicker here. Uh, on the old design, it's just a little bit thinner, right? So that's one thing. Um, there is uh, a separation between the header and the detail of the record. And that actually does look quite similar to what we have here on the left with the existing one. Uh, these fields are very interesting. So you see with the old way, when you click over a field and then you click into it, you're kind of in a text box, right? That, that just looks like a text box. And when you when you here in the new system, when you click over it, there's 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 actually no change that happens, right? The old one actually produces a outline around the text box. The new one doesn't produce the outline, uh, but you can then click into it. And when you click into it, it becomes very obvious that you're in that field because you get this underline of the whole field, right? And then you can go ahead and make a change here, and. Um, you know, that's that will uh, work as normal, right? You make a change to a field. So that's how you kind of know that you're in the field versus the old way where you, uh, the cursor's in there, let's say, right? So so that can be helpful. Um, what else is new? When you hover over these icons here, so you can see the phone icon here. So that changes to a little blue color. The old way, uh, it changes the background, but it doesn't actually change the, the, the foreground of the phone. So just a subtle change there, a little nicer maybe. And same deal with website. See, we're hovering over here. We get a little blue for the website. The old way does not have that. Uh, let's take a look at lookups here. So if I just scroll down a little bit here, we have a lookup field. So with this lookup, what I can do is just hit X here and then Let's go ahead and click enter here and we can see here we have some recent records. Uh, we can scroll down, we can click here to see a little bit more detail of the record. And then uh, let's go ahead and click advanced lookup here. And back here on the left, we can do the same thing. So I'm gonna just click here and you can see it just looks a little bit different, right? Um, if I click advanced lookup here on the left, we'll see what the how this looks currently. So this does look pretty similar to me, I would say. Doesn't look like much difference. Gonna click cancel on both of these. And now if we, let's go ahead and select a record here. So if I select this one, that's what it looks like on the left. And I'm gonna go ahead and select here on the right, the same record. And this is what it looks like, right? Interestingly, there's blue, the blue highlight on the left, the blue hyperlink on the left, the old way the uh, darker hyperlink on the right, okay? So that's what those look like. Uh, if we go down to addresses here, see if this was updated. This actually looks pretty similar to me. Doesn't look like there was any control updates there. So um, one other thing here is the share button. You can see this is a kind of an obvious one that's different. So on the, on the right, we have the blue background. On the left, it's... Uh, looks more like these other buttons. So they've kind of separate, they've kind of differentiated very clearly between the share button and the other buttons. So potentially maybe they got some feedback where users couldn't quite really find out how to share records very easily. And uh, so they made this a little bit more obvious, right? Let's go ahead and jump over to, uh, let's find an opportunity here and we can take a look at the um, business process flows. So I'm gonna go to all opportunities here. So uh, we can see how these look here. So, and basically if I, you can see this, uh, this one here is just a little bit smaller there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these on the left and select one of these on the right. Select on the right. And this is opening up the opportunities in both of these different systems.
So again, on the left, this is what an existing opportunity looks like. We can see that the we have the red color here. Uh, on the right, we have a blue color. Everything looks kind of similar, I would say. If we click into the business process flow, this is what it looks like. If we click into the business process flow here, the the, the buttons here are a little bit different. Uh, so this, this new stage button here is taking up the entire real estate in the old way and the new way it's taking up much less real estate. So again, this is all um, new Fluent UI controls that have been incorporated into the new Power Apps for the modern user interface. And these controls are gonna be really useful for other things like dark mode and high contrast mode. So that's kind of uh, an overview of the new look and feel. And you can see like these Fluent UI controls, I did a video on using them in Canvas apps and custom pages. And the, you can see that the that more apps in the Power Platform family are starting to use these as a base. And so they, as a result, they're gonna all have similar looks and feels, right? So when you're building applications, it, they're gonna look similar across all of these different apps in the uh, Power Platform family. And one last thing, actually, let's go ahead and go back over to our list here. I just want to show infinite scrolling here. Um, if we actually go back to opportunities, let's try this. Try something with a lot of records in it. Um, this looks kind of good, 97 records here. And then if we go back over to our new one and let's go to opportunities and I'll pick up the same list. And you can see here, this says one of 50, that's the old way, right? Without the infinite scrolling on. And here is, this actually says rows 97, right? So that's with the infinite scrolling on. And then if the user were to scroll down like this, um, they'll just keep getting records, right? Hope you all enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.